Hey guys, today I am doing one of my favorite videos, testing new Aussie drugstore makeup. I've got a few products here that I am really excited about, so let's just get straight into it. So I'm starting out with the BYS Brow Glue. Now this, to me, looks like a dupe of the NYX Brow Glue. I really, really enjoy the NYX one, so I'm hoping that the BYS is quite similar. Now the BYS is only $8. I did pick it up from Kmart. It says you'll have fixed brows all day. It has a mini brush and a strong hold. Okay, the brush is tiny, but it's not as tiny as the NYX. So the bigger one is the BYS brush. Now the NYX formula is quite sticky and that's what I really like about it because it really gels down those brows. What am I doing? Zoom it in, hun. Let's get a good look. Okay, I'm gonna start by brushing back. Get that product all throughout the brows. Okay, first things first, it doesn't feel as sticky as the NYX. It's definitely brushing my brows up, but will they stay there? I'm then grabbing a spoolie and using the handle to roll over the brows to press it down into my skin. So this is the brow with and the brow without. Okay, so it's brushed that brow up nicely as well, but it's not giving me that like real laminated look that I was expecting. So I'll let them dry down and we'll see. In the meantime, I'm going to go in with a new foundation. This is the NYX Bear With Me Blur Tint Foundation. Now I picked up the shade 02 Fair, which is the lighter shade available here in Australia. On the Priceline website, there are 10 shades available and it retails for $27.99. NYX has always been one of the more like expensive brands at Priceline, but I did pick this up in the half price makeup sale, so it was only $14. Their full range actually consists of 24 shades, but of course Australia doesn't get them all. It comes with 30 mils of product and it says it has a buildable medium coverage with a matte finish skin tint. Sometimes these things that are written don't make sense. Now it does say that it goes well with the marshmallow primer, so I'm going to go in with that first. If you haven't tried this primer, it's definitely one I recommend. It's nice and hydrating, but it slightly smooths the skin as well. And it smells, oh my God, delicious. Like I want to eat it. I'm not going to cover up any of these bigger blemishes because I want to see what the coverage is like. Oh, this shade does look a little bit fair. They didn't have any testers in store though, which was annoying. The formula actually feels quite nice so far. I think it's gonna have decent coverage. I'm going to go in with a brush with this one because it does have that matte finish. Okay, it's looking a little bit tragic. It's definitely clinging around these bigger blemishes here and here. Oh, and the shade is just quite off. Maybe I'll go in with a sponge on this side. Oh. Oh my god, this looks so bad. <sighs> okay, it's blended out more nicely with a sponge, like it's not looking clingy or dry. Definitely less coverage, but I just can't get on board with this shade. It looks quite nice in the bottle, but it's so much more fair. The undertone is really pink as well, which again, it doesn't look like that in the bottle, but comparing it to... My chest, see how yellow I look here? Oh, I don't think this is gonna work. Even if I were to get the next shade up, I don't think this formula is suited for my skin type. Now, I do have a combination skin, a little oily throughout the T-zone, dry around breakouts, and like I've just done my skincare like half an hour ago, I used a hydrating primer, and it is still looking really dry. Like, maybe you can see around my nose here, how it's just like clinging in there. It does not look good on these breakouts here. My chin looks really dry and there's no like bad skin issues there. It's a little bit strange to me as well that this is under the Bear With Me category and it has a matte finish considering the Bear With Me Concealer Serum is so hydrating and it just has the most beautiful formula. I was expecting like this in foundation form really. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. I do agree that it had a medium coverage, but some of these claims online, I just can't really put them together considering how it went. It says here that it will deliver 16 hours of comfortable transfer and fade resistant wear and up to 12 hours of hydration in a matte formula. 
I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and use a different foundation. Okay, so I mixed together my L'Oreal True Match and the Astralis Fresh and Flawless. It's looking much better, even over the top of these blemishes. It's not looking clingy or dry. So mm, I just don't think the Bear With Me Blur Foundation is for my skin type. I might test it out one more time, like mixed in with another foundation, but we'll see, we'll see. I did go in with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer as well. Fantastic, love it. I use the shade Light. Next, I picked up some of the new OXX makeup brushes. These are the 4D Defined Bristles. First of all, how stunning is the packaging? Like, it's so aesthetic and sleek. I love it. Oh my God, these feel so nice. So this is the 4D Complexion Brush. Look at that. Oh, these are beautiful. The bristles feel quite soft as well. And then also come with a 4D concealer brush. Oh, I already put my concealer on with my sponge. I suppose you could probably use this for eyeshadow as well. Or even what I like to do is use a concealer as my like eyeshadow base. This would be good for patting that out because it's concealer. Wow, Tanika, seriously. It says that the bigger brush can be used for concealer foundation or setting powder over larger areas. I was going to use it for my cream bronzer, actually. They have released quite a few brushes in this collection, eyeshadow brushes and face brushes. You can buy them singly or in sets. All right, so let's add a bit of color to the face. I'm going in with this e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines. Okay, it's blending it out nicely. It is applying it quite sheer. This brush is a bit fluffier than the one I normally use. I use the e.l.f. no, Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. As you can see, it's quite small and dense. That has diffused the bronzer very beautifully. I'll even take it up along my hairline here. Again, just to add a bit more color to my face. It feels nice and soft on the skin. It's not scratchy at all. And as I said, it is blending the product beautifully. So I'm pretty impressed with a Kmart brush. I have tried a few of them in the past and I've always really liked them. So the fact that this is also just beautifully aesthetic, <laughs> it's a win. The next new product that I have to try is by e.l.f. and it is their Luminous Putty Blush. Now I love the original putty blush formula, so I was really excited to see that we finally got the Luminous version. It says that they are lightweight, buildable, putty to powder blush that gives a splash of shimmer. I'm going to use my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush to apply this. Okay, it's nicely pigmented. I am loving this shade. Definitely giving a beautiful glow as well. It's very luminous. It doesn't look like metallic shimmery. It just looks, oh, it looks real dewy. That is pretty. Okay, I am absolutely loving that. A winner so far. It's beautifully pigmented, easy to blend, and that glow is just stunning. Stunning. All right, so let's check on these brows. They've definitely dried down and they are staying in place but it doesn't feel like extremely crispy, which is nice. I'll go in with a brow pencil now and just fill them in. All right, so brows have definitely stayed in place. It's not as like a slick back and laminated as I was expecting though. Next, I've got the Essence Prime Like a Boss Eyeshadow Base. And this says that it's a universal shade, has no creasing and is long lasting. So let's give it a swatch. Universal shade scares me a little bit. Oh, it's just clear. You can't even see it. Oh, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really like clear eyeshadow bases because my eyelids are so veiny and discolored like i need to use a concealer to mute all that out and then go in with the eyeshadow i don't know if i want to use this i feel like i'm being defeated by this makeup and it's really annoying me i'm too hormonal for this because when i put on concealer on my eyelids as well i like to use it to tidy up my brows i really thought this was going to have a bit of a tint to it well look what i'm going to do is just Quickly tidy up my brows very lightly underneath. I'm not going to bring it all over my lid. And then I guess let's go in with this eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to put a little bit on and I'll use that Kmart brush to blend it out. 
Okay, so it's dried down and it does feel very soft and velvety, but I just hate that I can see my veins. This brush feels really nice though, and I think it's going to work really well when I actually use concealer, because the kind of brush I normally use to blend out the concealer on my lids are these two here, like just small, dense brushes. And this just ties in perfectly. All right, I'm just going to go in with my ColourPop That's Tote palette. Maybe just use like one or two of these lighter shades here for a simple look. And we'll just see what happens, you know? Oh my God. The next product I am really excited for, so stay tuned, okay? I know this is getting a little worrying, but... Okay, I will say the shadow is blending very nicely on top of the primer. Super smooth. Okay, maybe that's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> I'm liking how that looks. I really can't see my veins as much as I thought I would be able to, so I'm glad that I gave that a go. Now the next product is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, and you're probably thinking, boring, seen it a thousand times, but guys, this is the brown shade. <laughs> Finally, I love a brown mascara, but I feel like they're so hard to find like a good one that you love the formula and the shade because there's a lot of black brown on the market but I want a chocolate brown and my favorite was this L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic mascara but they reformulated it and I've got it I haven't tried it yet but from talking to other people it has a bit of like a grayish tone to it so I'm not here for that. This is the Maybelline mascara. Let's give it a little swatch. Oh my God, like it actually looks chocolatey. Oh, wow. That's the most disgusting swatch I've ever seen, but I just love a brown mascara because the look is so much softer, especially when you're like super fair. And I know I already love this formula. So this is just a match made in heaven, really. Okay, I absolutely love that. It is a little bit darker than the L'Oreal Brown Mascara, but you can see that it's not like straight up black. Just looks very soft. Oh, that's so exciting. All right, and then the last products I have to show you, I haven't used before, but not in a YouTube video yet. And they are the Maybelline Superstate Vinyl Ink Liquid Lipsticks. So I've got two shades here. This is Cheeky and Peachy. Now I have been raving about these over on Instagram. They are absolutely beautiful and so long lasting. I will link the reel down below where I tested it out all day, like through eating and drinking. I could not believe how well they lasted. I think I'll go in with Peachy today. I really like the wand because it's kind of like long and slim and it makes it really easy to line the lips while you're applying the lipstick. Now what is so interesting about these is that they dry down like completely. They do not budge but they still have a glossy finish. As they're drying down they do feel a little bit tacky but that feeling does go away and then they just last literally all day without having to reapply. Like even after eating and drinking you don't get like the bum hole lips where it fades in the center. They're just amazing. They are quite expensive, I think like $27. So wait for a sale, but there are now 10 shades available, which is really good. I do wish there were some more lighter nudie shades. Like these are the most nude shades in the range that we have, but they have quickly become my favorite lipstick formula. All right, well, this is the finished look. Let's quickly do a little overview of all the products. The NYX Bear With Me Blur Foundation. I think I've said enough. I don't think it works for my skin type. I will definitely give it another go and try mixing it with different foundations, but I just don't think that this finish is for me. The BYS Brow Glue. Now it is nice, it's done the job, brows are definitely staying in place. It just wasn't as laminating as I was expecting. If you really want to slick your brows down and have that soap brow look, the NYX Brow Glue is much better for that, but this just, it's like a regular brow gel. The e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blush. Oh my god, I love it. Absolutely love it. The shade is stunning. I love the luminosity. It blended out so easily. This is going to be one of my favorites, I can tell. The Essence Eyeshadow Primer. Okay, I really was not keen on the fact that it was transparent, but look how smooth my eyeshadow looks. And like, I can't see the veins up here. So it's done a pretty good job. I'm impressed. I would definitely use it again. The Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I already know I love the formula and I am really happy with the brown shade. It's nice and chocolatey. It's not one of those black browns. 
really nice for natural looks. And then lastly, the Kmart brushes. I think these are beautiful, nice and soft. They blended the product easily. And then the Maybelline lipsticks, I already know I loved them. I just had to share that with you because they are just fantastic obsessed. Let me give you a quick bump update before I go. Now, by the way, I don't have a bra on and I've just got undies on. And if you think I'm putting on clothes to show you, like just as if. Here she is, 37 weeks. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps my channel out and I appreciate the engagement. Sorry if I wasn't in center this whole time. My stupid viewfinder is mirrored and it's just tripping me out. Like I move one way and it's the opposite. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I will link some more of these testing drugstore videos in the description box below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.